laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> okay, guys, it's raining and you're on a toy run with fuzz. Let's get across here. And we're off, we're in the big smoke, and we're off to this place here. Forbidden Planet. I'll see you inside. Okay, the first thing you see when you get in here is this massive wall, like a, a glass wall full of all sorts of statues, all sorts of hot toys, sideshow collectibles, that sort of thing. I've got some really amazing pieces there. The Hoff cannon there, I thought that was really, really wicked looking cannon. Um, there was Jabba, as you can see there. But this, I mean, this wall of statues and hot toys is, is massive. Probably goes, oh, I don't know, 50, 60 feet along. It's, it's, it's big. Maybe that's as light as that, really. Imagine 30, 40 feet. Love the Darth Vader uh, head. Thought it was very cool. Then next to it, it had like a load of uh, Batman. I thought the, the Bane holding Batman aloft. I thought that just was an epic pose. I mean, it just that was a really, really nice piece. And Catwoman. Well, any girl in a black PVC outfit is always going to look great. <laughs> I know they had the tumbler as well, five hundred quid. I mean, that's what's that? Seven, eight hundred dollars. Wonderful piece, but wow, that's a pretty penny, definitely. And the DC collectibles, Catwoman, as you can see there, really cool. But there's really there's so much to see in these in these particular cabinets. It really was quite something to see. Uh, this is the Star Wars section there. Nothing new, but then I guess we're not expecting nothing new at Forbidden Planet at the moment. But look at the price of that in the UK. ATST, fifty pounds. Fifty. I couldn't believe it was fifty quid. That is just so much money. What's that? Seventy, eighty dollars. And then the eighty, the, the eighty, eighty down below the Attack. Look at that once again. Lovely piece. I'd like to collect it, but one hundred and forty-nine pound. One hundred and forty-nine pound. Just mega, mega money. As far as the figures concerned, a lot of Phantom Menace, but there was a lot of others as there to be fair. So the final couple of waves, most of those were represented within with, on the pegs there. So there certainly was an opportunity to pick up some figures which maybe might have eluded us towards the end of the vintage collection wave. So there was definitely something to look at in that respect. The triple packs down below sport in my opinion by having all the multi languages on them. Never mind, it's one of them things I guess. And then there were some Clone Wars. And some of the new 2013 stuff, the 501st Legion ATRT, 2299, another 501st Legion, the Yoda pack, and the MT Droid Fighter. Predators, they had lots of. Alien Plush was very cool, like that. There's lots and lots of predators though. You could really took your pick there. There probably was. They probably had eight or nine different uh, predators there, including Big Red. So they were all there. And then they had these really large. I think they're about 18 inch um, scale predators. Good face detail on that guy there. In Prometheus packs, and once again, this was at 38 quid. So you just get it cheaper online. I know we should support our comic stores and things like that, but ultimately, when things are so much more expensive, it makes it very difficult to do it. And, and I just wonder why why it is like that. But but there we go. Rocky had lots to choose from on the Rocky lines, um, from the original from Rocky. Very disappointing on the Gremlin line. Um, I know it's something which is now discontinued from NECA. But very dis disappointed on there, very little to choose from. I'd have picked up a couple of Gremlins today if they'd had more, but wasn't to be. It's one of those things. G.I. Joe down below, something I don't know much about, but I thought I'd film it simply because some of you guys certainly do. And a solitary E.T., all on his lonesome. 
Nightmare on Elm Street, once again, was pretty comprehensive. They had lots of the, the Freddies there from the various films. They had the original Freddy there, which is to the bottom, let's see, bottom towards the bottom left. And there he is, right at the far bit there, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. He looked pretty cool. And then across from Big Bang Theory, gotta love Big Bang Theory. They had some of the Walking Dead figures, and I've seen these reviewed. They were, they were impressive. I've never actually seen them uh, up front, but they they were pretty impressive. I'd recommend those. Terminator line was somewhat lacking, but then once again, it's kind of limited. And then they had the Mego sort of effect, if you like, uh, Star Trek original series and Next Generation dolls. And T2. And then we have some of the DC unlimited packs seen some of these uh, online uh, reviewed some of them look really really cool some some of them are really sweet looking pleased about that uh, turtles loads of turtles don't know much about turtles so moving on from turtles and then finally the batman arkham series and the Justice League um, range, once again, pretty well stocked on both of those as well. Of course, there was other things within Forbidden Planet as well, but these are just probably the bits, the highlights for me. But the Arkham series, I mean, I love those figures. I think they're really, really, really top drawer looking figures. I think the Penguin looks super, super cool. Azrael, I think he looks really, really cool as well. And that's about it. But as always, guys, your thoughts, feedback, and comment are very much welcomed. Hope you enjoyed the toy run. Until the next time, take care of yourselves now. Cheers. Fuzz.